We bring to you an interesting case of timely and accurate diagnostics using genomics technology in saving the life of a critically ill patient admitted to NIMS Medicity, Thiruvananthapuram. We had a 73-year-old lady coming from the outskirts of uh, Trivandrum, uh, close to NIMS Medicity. She had fever for more than one week, intermittent. She also has history of diabetes and hypertension. For the past three days, she also complained of cough, breathlessness and abdominal discomfort. She had been to two local hospitals without any diagnosis being made and she was finally referred to NIMS Medicity. She came to our emergency unit and she was examined and uh, was found to have high-grade fever with a low blood pressure of 80 by 60. Her diagnosis of septic shock was made. Immediate resuscitatory measures were adopted in the emergency room and she was uh, shifted to our multidisciplinary ICU for further evaluation and management. At this point, a primary provisional diagnosis of uh, sepsis was made. Uh, she was started on inotropic support, uh, injection meropenem and injection doxycycline. Uh, we also sent a consultation for Dr. Sherik, uh, our uh, AD specialist. The workup was planned for infection screening, relevant cultures and serology was sent. As per the current uh, scientific evidence, we know that uh, next generation sequencing, which we call it as NGS, is the uh, way forward in this scenario because the patient was in shock and I needed a result in short time. So that's where we called Dr. Anish and this facility was available in NIMS uh, Genomic Center. So we called Dr. Anish and uh, then we immediately sampled the process, the blood and uh, sent it to the NIMS Genomic Lab for next generation sequencing to detect fungal as well as bacterial pathogens inside the blood. The blood for the patient was received for infection test, a next generation sequencing test which detects pan-bacterial, pan-fungal and medically relevant antibiotic resistant genes. The committed turnaround time for the clinicians was 24 hours. So as we were waiting for the next generation sequencing result as well as the blood culture result, uh, the scrub IgM ELISA uh, came back as positive. However, there was a turn uh, twist in the story. Her uh, CT abdomen was showing a right pyelonephritis. So it was really confusing for us whether it is scrub or uh, whether it is the pyelonephritis which is the reason for the septic shock. Now the result of uh, next generation sequencing is back. It showed Orientia susugamoshi. So the whole confusion, the whole clinical dilemma getting solved there. And now the clinical team is convinced that this is basically scrub typhus and not pyelonephritis and we stopped all the unnecessary antibiotics and continued treatment with the scrub typhus with this patient. So scrub typhus is a rickett seal disease which mimics lot other uh, tropical infections like dengue, leptospirosis, enteric fever. So diagnosing it in the early phase is still a challenge because it's not culturable. Second thing is that serology becomes positive only after the seven days and here in this case what happened was that we nailed the diagnosis straight away by identifying the Orientia susugamoshi, which is a reason for the scrub typhus from the blood using NGS and then we could stop all the antibiotics. We could stop all the unnecessary antibiotic and focus only on the scrub typhus treatment and the patient showed improved, dramatic improvement over the next 72 hours. We could stop off uh, all the inotropes and the patient improved well with just doxy plus azithromycin or the anti-scrub treatment. So the way forward, way forward, the world is facing a lot of problems with the antimicrobial resistance and antibiotic abuse. Next generation sequencing appears to be a tool which actually helps a lot in precision medicine than empirical based treatment. So this platform, this NGS platform is on the way and we are actually on a way to have more precise diagnosis because before putting the antibiotics.